Here we have the double integral with the uh, function e to the negative one half times x squared plus y squared. And to find this integral, to evaluate this double integral, we we'll use uh, polar coordinate systems system. And recall that the um, uh, the relationship between the rectangular system and the uh, polar coordinate system is um, this r square is equal to x square plus y square. X is equal to r cosine of theta. Y is equal to r sine of theta. And this is the double integral in the rectangular system. And the corresponding double integral in the um, polar coordinate system. Well, this particular double integral f of x, y is the function e to the negative one half x squared plus y squared. But x squared plus y squared is r squared. And so f of r theta will be e to the negative one half r squared. Because x squared plus y squared is r squared. Here x ranges, ranges from negative infinity to positive infinity. And y ranges from negative infinity to positive infinity. And so in the polar system, polar coordinate system, the radius will go from zero to infinity and then theta will run from zero to two pi and so this is the corresponding polar uh, double the corresponding double integral in the polar coordinate system and now we want to find the inside integral Right here, this inside integral, which is the integral from zero to infinity, e to the negative one half r square r dr. Let v be one half r square, then dv dr will be one be one half times two r, which is r. So dv is r dr. And now the integral of e to the negative one half r square, this will be e to the negative v. r dr is dv. Antiderivative of e to the negative v is negative e to the negative v. And notice that when r is zero, when r is zero, then v is zero. When r approaches infinity, v also approaches infinity. So that's why we get zero to infinity. Negative e to the negative v is negative one over e to the v, and then evaluate from zero to infinity. So when v, and so in the place of v, we have infinity, and so negative 1 dividing by infinity is 0. And then when v is 0, we get 1 here, and so be minus negative 1, which is 1. And so the inside integral is 1. And so now we evaluate the outside integral. 0 to 2 pi and then 1 here. And so the antiderivative be uh, 1 theta be just theta. And evaluate from 0 to 2 pi, we get 2 pi. And therefore this double integral is equal to 2 pi. 